Hi, I'm Becca. Welcome to Hinge Vintage Goods. We'll be talking about what's sold this week. We'll start off with items sold on Etsy for this last week. These are Cruel Artwork Kits, C-R-E-W-E-L. I do really well with these. I picked up this group for $3 at an estate sale and sold it for $35 within just a couple of days. Next is this little brass stag beetle. It was a part of an auction lot that I got about a month ago now, and I've been slowly working my way through listing all of them. I listed this about a week ago, and it sold for $20. This is also a part of that auction lot that I purchased. It's been listed for about three weeks, and it sold very well. I had actually about five of these. Um, I got it for around $2, and it sold for $30. This mug pair, I love selling stoneware mugs in pairs. They go pretty quickly. I got these for a quarter at a garage sale, and they sold for $20. This tiny brass apple paperweight, or little miniature, was another item I picked up at a garage sale for a quarter and it sold for 12 as a gift for a co-worker, which I think is pretty fun. All right, next up is this vintage wall plaque. We are getting close to Mother's Day, so I'm not surprised that this sold. I got it for a dollar at an estate sale. All right, next is this vintage mug. It actually had never been used. It still had its sticker on the bottom in perfect condition found it at an estate sale for a dollar and it sold in one day for 14. Another mug, been doing well with mugs this week. I got this one a little while ago. It sat for about a month for 69 cents at Goodwill and it sold for $14. Next is just a little brass duck figurine. I usually pick up any smaller brass figurine I find because they just sell quickly as long as I get them for a good price. I got this one for a dollar at a garage sale. Another set of brass figurines. I actually got this while we were on a road trip. Picked it up at a little roadside uh, antique mall. Got, it, got the pair for $6. I have not ever seen this set of brass figurines. Usually I've come across an item before, especially when they're brass. I've seen a lot of them. Um, but I thought these were really cool. They sold in about three weeks for $28. And the final item sold on Etsy this week is this ginger jar. I almost always pick up ginger jars. I have no problem selling them, especially with their lid. I usually leave them behind without their lid. This one had this pretty blue iris painted onto it. It sold in about five days for $18. All right, now the items sold on eBay this week. This was a part of that auction. I don't generally list items that sell for less than $15, but I already had this. Uh, it was just part of a lot. So I went ahead and listed it. It sold for $10. This next item is a metal index card file box that I picked up at a antique mall for $5 and it sold for $22. All right, I always pick up tumble ups when I find them for a good price. I got this one at an estate sale for a dollar. It sold pretty quickly in about a week and a half, which is why I always pick them up because I know I'm going to make my money fast. 
it sold for 16. This was also a part of that auction and it sold in about a week of me listing it for $12. Yet another auction item, I got like a whole table filled with boxes <laughs> for I think $10. So I've just been working my way through listing them, have maybe $1.75 into this item. It was pretty cool. I loved the clasp on it. It was neat to see um, how it worked. It sold for $20. All right, a clothing item. I am still learning clothing. I started out in hard goods, and I probably will always mostly do hard goods, but it is nice to every once in a while expand, especially if I'm already someplace and they just don't have anything in the hard goods to take some time to find a few clothing items to make my trip worth it. I picked these up for $1.50 and it sold in a day for $15. All right, I got this item at an estate sale that I actually just came across in my neighborhood. It was around the corner. It was a great estate sale. I got a lot of items from it. Got this for $2 and it sold for $20 in one day. Okay. And book, a children's book. I don't pick up a ton of books just because I don't have the knowledge base to know what to look for, but this is one that I stumbled across early on is Jack Kent. Um, basically any of his children's books sell quickly for a decent return. This one sold in about three days. I got it for a dollar and sold it for 15. This is another item from the auction that I purchased. This was maybe 50 cents. Uh, I had a huge box of just small metal figurines, brass, um, silver, and this little wax seal stamp. It sold for $20. All right, another clothing item. This one, it has really cool cable knit texturing. That is another thing that I watch for when I'm looking through clothing. I've had really good luck with this style of sweater. It sold for $50, even though we're heading into spring and summer. So um, even if you're picking up items off season, they will still sell. And then the last item from this last week is this pair of running shorts. I have a fairly good knowledge base for what to look for in running items. I'm a runner, so that's um, something that I at least have a little bit of knowledge in. These I picked up because they had a ton of pockets. I didn't really know the brand, um, but it had pockets all the way around it. And as a runner, I was like, yes, I would want that. Um, it sold in about four days for $24, and I paid $3 for them. Mm -hmm.